everyone, it's me, Gweekles, and today I'm happy to say that this video is a collaboration between me, <laughs> between myself, <laughs> between myself and Eva from the Art Side of Life. You might have seen one of her many interviews with several amazing and countless amazing artists. Um, she has a podcast and she also has a YouTube channel which I will link down in the description below But she reached out to me and asked if I would like to do a collab and so I eagerly hopped on the opportunity And this is something new because we did it digitally of course for the sake of easiness and um, exchanging files But I am using my iPad Pro to do my rough sketch for her um, we just wanted to give each other rough sketches, um, that way the other person's style could shine through in the end um, and not interfere with, you know, uh, seeing what both of our works combined could do. But um, she chose a um, Eevee and I chose a Vulpix. And then we um, decided on a color palette and we used a, a non-conventional color palette, but of course one of my favorite sorts of color palettes and that would be a pastel palette. So um, not only did we have to um, color and um, you know uh, design of someone else's art but we had to use a non-conventional color palette and we chose the theme Pokemon because we both enjoy Pokemon um, and that was whew, this was the easiest part for me was just uh, sketching out a full pix for her because um, in the beginning she told me that she usually she used uh, shapes and blocking in colors and you'll see her amazing style later um, uh, to do her piece so I didn't want to do anything solidified I wanted to give her a really rough sketch to work off of so that she didn't have to you know work off anything that was crazy detailed and as you can see I sketched very messy very loose and um, I had a couple of other little baby thumbnails but of course you guys know I like to do little um, pieces that come off my illustration um, and like so I made little embers coming off the Vulpix and then here you see her amazing Eevee sketch oh my god I love the style that she has it's absolutely incredible and I was like oh no I am going to butcher this poor thing so of course um, I'm coloring this on my Huon GT191 um, tablet that I got for Christmas this year and I was excited to use it and because she did she took such um, a more realistic approach um, not that it's it is it, it isn't stylized she took a more realistic approach to the Eevee I kind of wanted to adhere to that I um, did my best in the beginning I try not to do any hard lines or hard edges um, I had to change that towards the end uh, because of our color palette choices but um I wanted to uh, really use a lot of um, the brushes I chose and because I'm still getting used to working digitally and finding my style digitally so it was kind of hard for me there was a lot of pressure because I really wanted to do a good job coloring her piece and um, doing it justice of course and then at the same time um, I really wanted to incorporate um, some texture to it so I you'll notice that the brushes that I was using are very texturized and I layered them as such and accordingly um, and then I have the color palette right next to me. I have that over um, the Eevee that I sketched. So we put um, our pieces, our sketches together, and then we exchange them a couple times, um, obviously, so we could both make sure that, uh, you know, we, everything was working together. I think at first, um, my Vulpix wasn't looking in the same direction as Eevee and a couple of other things needed to be changed but thank goodness uh, we did this digitally so that we could make those changes a little bit more easily. Um, this was definitely a challenge for me but I'm glad that I took it on. Um, I really enjoyed trying to translate um, the pastel color palette uh, to Eevee Whereas normally when you see EB, you think, you know, the browns and everything. So it's going to be really interesting because <laughs> no one's going to be like, well, this is not the colors that those Pokemon are, but it's 
absolutely fine because that is not the point of this. We kind of, in the collab, we kind of gave ourselves quite a, quite a bit of a challenge and it was an extra challenge for me because, again, I'm going to say this a million times, um, I uh, don't work day really normally and I am still learning and um, trying to find my way in my style. But uh, practice uh, makes perfect. So um, you'll see me moving around a lot and just adjusting layers and like trying to find my way. I laid down that lightest blue simply because um, I thought that using the pink, the tan, and the purple were as close to the warm color palette that, or well, Evie normally has earthy tone color palettes. Um, um, they were more close to what could be identified as Evie's more common traits, which is the big bushy mane and the big bushy tail and of course the ears and the paw pads. So that's why I tried to incorporate that and because that blue at the bottom was the lightest blue we had, um, I put that in the background uh, for then and then we ended up having to figure out uh, the best way to incorporate the background because our pieces, because of course we chose pastel, so everything was so light, we had to make sure that everything showed up. And I had to make a few adjustments um, towards the end, but um, I really enjoyed playing around with the textures and finding, you know, finding I had to do some research and get some, get myself some brushes and, um, play with the settings for recording so I apologize if they're not like the best you know settings for trying to watch somebody uh, do art digitally I'm still working on it and it was gosh it was so hard to you know because I'm coloring and throwing in my own style there and um, then of course you know you're trying to not completely take away what the other artists laid down for you um, in the foundation. So, whew, the beauty of a, a collaboration. It's, it's really, it's really fun um, and challenging. And if you guys haven't done any collabs with other artists yet, I really um, suggest you try it, especially with Eva because she was just absolutely lovely to work with. I had a lot of things um, come up in the midst of this collab. We actually started it last month and got it most of the way finished and then unfortunately um, my grandfather passed away and then I had to be away from my computer for a while and I wasn't feeling very well and just like everything that could go wrong um, went wrong. Um, but it wasn't bad. She was so sweet and she's such a darling. Um, so yeah and then here's me giving up on all right well i don't know how to uh color realistically well not that i don't know how but i didn't want to um color realistically um i wanted to keep kind of like um a more give it a more textured feel um and that was, you can see, she adjusted uh, Vulpix's eyes to look up at Evie so their eyes are matching each other. Um, and then, so I kind of just used the purple to give it an outline. And then I went back with the blue to try and give it um, a, a little bit of a light source. And then I was like, eh, that's a little bit too much. Well, then I just took away some of that. Um, because at the end I realized, I'm like, oh, we don't really, we're not really, I wasn't really, not we. I wasn't really utilizing a whole lot of the blue and then I wanted to add more of the lighter tan to make those colors pop and I think I just got so into like the texture and you guys know that I love texture so much so I kind of got lost in like the textures and being like ooh, ooh or like being up close to it and then when I was zooming out I was like well maybe that's a bit much um so I went with the white to add um again another light source um that isn't of the color palette and then just gently take it away now towards the end so she had finished her her part of the um the Vulpix which came out 
amazing and mine looks like absolute garbage <laughs> next to hers and I feel so bad and I'm so sorry even that my digital coloring skills are not the greatest so um because the color palette that we used uh or that i used for the um uh the eevee was so light against the blue um and we were like oh goodness what are we gonna do she had to make some adjustments so that you know um the vulpix didn't disappear and then now i'm going back in and making some adjustments so that the eevee doesn't quite disappear and I didn't, again, I didn't want to go very hard edge, um, and I completely forgot all of the brushes that I used. So I, it took me a second that you saw in the beginning right there, and I just lightly, and of course I was like, mm, yum, 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 texture. Um, living for the texture, um, just wanted to give it enough to where it was like, okay, you can still see her or him, um, but yet not like fading into the background so just enough to give it a little bit of a pop and then I wanted to go in and um, do a little bit of shadowing and then I was playing with some of the brushes and it's frustrating because some of the brushes um, like when you go to download the brushes and then you know people advertise the brushes as looking a certain way and then you go to use them and then you find like they're not that way it just was like, oh, I don't have time for this now. Um, so I added a little bit more of a, you know, um, a darker, some more darker tones. Um, made her pop a little bit more from the background. And then I fixed the eye because I don't know how, um, but somewhere in translation, um, uh, I guess during my coloring or fixing one of the many edits, um, it came to look like the Eevee was looking more at the ground instead of Vulpix. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to fix that really quick. But anyways, I had so much fun collabing with Eva. Her piece was absolutely amazing. And I love Pokemon and she is wonderful. Please check out her channel down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.